Yo, what up, comic peeps? And just uh, people that like uh, cool stuff. Um, I got this Clive Barker's The Horrors, Raiders of the Abyss, uh, number five. Check out that cat right there. I remember going to the pound and um, seeing a cat look at me like that. I went back a day later and uh, they told me they, they euthanized him. Rest in peace, little guy. This reminds me of him. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to do another episode of uh, What's Inside and uh, Two Horrors Alone Against the Hordes of Chaos. Check out these little dudes. They look like rats and slash cats, but inside they're, they're actually rats. I like these like comic goofs that they do on covers and sometimes interior. It's just so, I don't know, it's just so out there. I, I like these... Um, uh, particular, um, how would you want to call it? Um, uh, uh, can't think of the word right now, but I'll, I'll come around anyway. So let's see what's inside here. So this is by a uh, Clive, uh, Clive Barker, Malcolm Smith, Gene Colin. Oh, wow. Penciler. I already read this guys, but it's been so long. So uh, bear with me here. Mike Lackey. I know that guy. Tom DeFalco. Carl Potts. I think I heard of Carl Potts somewhere. Um, so, yeah, here you got this uh, series that's uh, based off uh, Pinhead and uh, many other characters that were never introduced in the movies. Like this weird uh, little dude. Um, and, you know, Pinhead just being his nasty, gruesome self, you know, uh, ends up uh, turning the little dude into like one of his experiments check that out and uh can't be good right here so this was a line of comics that uh clive barker did back in the early 90s uh, i believe there was others there was ecto kid and gosh man what did he turn them into that he wasn't already and uh you know and clive just uh you know they they asked clive to do a, a comic series and uh, a, basically a comic world and, you know, to uh, bring his dark uh, fantasies to life. And, uh, yeah, this is what came up of it. And uh, I did read this. Um, these guys are called the Horrors. And uh, they're able to, like, um, open up passageways from here to, like, the other side. And, and uh, go into, like, different realms and stuff with these uh, little stones that they carry. And uh, let's just say uh, maybe it's maybe it's not a good such a good idea. So this guy, I guess, um, you know, they're you know they find out that um, uh, he's like Meow. they find out that uh, you know he um, he escaped hell and uh, he's out to kill uh, I think this girl right here. And um, he seems like an innocent guy and stuff. He introduces himself to the horrors. And, you know, already uh, Mr. Mr. Whiskers is already uh, curious there. Something um, not not cool going on. And uh, he ends up doing research and finding where um, what happened to this man. And uh, so I guess, yeah, it was the guy. And now he wants to uh, get revenge for putting him in prison for life. And, yeah, so he dots down his information. Nowadays, it's so easy to find where people live and stuff if, if you have their address, of course. I mean, and maybe even their names nowadays. And, you know, um, I guess this guy, uh, the little dude from the beginning, he ends up uh, coming through the other side with them in the wheelchair. And uh, hold on, guys. I'm, I'm bending the comic somehow. And not opening the other page. So, you know, he phone calls this lady and she fucking basically tells him exactly where they live. And he's a happy camper. You know, he's looking to, to cause some chaos here. And he starts a killing spree again. And two of the horrors, um, you know, I guess they're looking over the guy. But they get a funny feeling that something's up. Something just ain't right. And, uh, of course, you know. Hellraiser doing what he does best. And, you know, it has another story. This one's called Blood Brothers. 
and uh, I guess they're taking out some dude's brain and um, he remembers his brother and they, they were little kids and you know they were inseparable and stuff and you know all the way to college and uh, so this guy I guess he's um, you know he's trying to uh, convince his brother to join him and his and their father and uh, so they can um, sorry about the as and uh, uh, and uh, so he shows them the box but a bing bada boom they summon their dad who's he was I guess in the war or something comes out looking like uh, that dude from um, puppet master and uh, at first you know he's reluctant to join them but because he says oh we're family and all this and that and whatnot and you know he decides to join bad idea because then they get turned into this thing which uh, kind of looks like these things <laughs> and that was it and this was his series right there there's Clive Barker and he just wanted to bring um his own spin on um a comic world and here's more of his stuff and yeah that's all I wanted to show you guys I haven't done one of these episodes in a long time uh, like comments you know subscribe let me know if you guys want to see more of this thank you